Sister girl gossip. Let us in. High school musical edition. Uh, Wildcats. I don't remember any of the songs. <laughs> Wildcats, say it loud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like my version better. <laughs> Let us in. Wildcats. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the sister girl gossip, right? I think. Yeah. I that think. sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> Not gamer girl, no. sister girl. Sister girl gossip. Yeah. Where we're, me and Chris, who is actually... In, in Oklahoma. Yes. So he gets to use a, a microphone that doesn't sound like a robot like that's on a potato. I'm in the room and we laugh until we piss ourselves. That is true. You did have to leave midway through the last school stories episode to listen about fat Michaela falling on her back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the most dramatic like Lion King <laughs> fall ever. <laughs> Literally, yes. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> but in this <laughs> That's all I can picture now. Uh, but in this episode, we are talking all about high school. So seventh or eighth grade to senior year. This is like when Chris finally shows up to Lincoln. We know each other. We know what's going on. We the sister girls. Like, we, yes. And there was a lot of shenanigans that went down. Like there's so much shenanigans that we've had to break it up into multiple different episodes. Like we have an episode just based on all the musicals that we were a part of <laughs> an episode. Uh, um, all the school projects and, and videos we did. Right. Just about all the videos. And then another episode about all of like the, just the weird characters that we experienced Mine's in high right. school. Um, so there's so much. So we just have like more of like a generalized, Playing the drums? What are you doing? It's my friends. Oh. <laughs> well, stop it. Get rid of them. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> I just get like really... I left my meds at home. Yeah, I just get really abusive. I need you to calm down. If you don't stop it right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not getting half of the royalties like I told you. Ah, <laughs> yes. Uh, but in this episode, it's... <laughs> You're also blowing your nose. <laughs> You're just like, the next thing I know, like, you're over here just, like, sipping on your drink, like. <laughs> <laughs> For your ASMR pleasure. <laughs> but in this episode, we're talking about, like, general high school stories. that mm. just happened in our day-to-day, -day, just random crap that went down. And we have drinks here because <gasps> we needed drinks because reliving through high school is very traumatic. Um, and that's why, after this, I'm never speaking about high school ever again. <laughs> Until, like. You know, three or four days go this by. This is like, this is it this for is, me. This is it. Until probably a month from now, and then you're going to, like, tell someone, like, when I'm in high school, like... I tell no one about high school. Like, in Florida, I don't tell anybody nothing. <laughs> they I'm don't like, know anything about you. I was so popular, and that's about it. <laughs> no, yeah, I guess I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I, did I break your chair? I, okay, yeah. It's oh, because of these things. Yeah, it's because they're not, they're not screwed on, so you're just going to have to, like, fix them. So, All right, let it begin. Let it rip, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so when you first got <laughs> to Lincoln, I think the first thing you did was go in the talent show. I, I think that was like the, first, the talent show. <laughs> I think that's like the first thing you did. It was that was like maybe a month or two of me knowing you. Cuz who wouldn't just transfer to a new school where you know no <laughs> one and everyone made fun of you for dancing in your old school. <laughs> so why not do it in front of everyone right. at your new school? What grade were you in 8th grade? That was 7th grade. You were only in 7th grade. Oh my seventh god. 7th grade is when I transferred. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to be the coolest one in school. And I'm going to win the talent show. Because unlike other talent shows, this one had a first place cash prize. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to go do oh, that yeah. and win the $75. Well, <laughs> I went to the audition. Reagan's, Reagan was there. <laughs> um, <laughs> my, my arch rival. His arch rival, Reagan, was there. She did a cheer routine. There were two, like senior bands like bands and then there was like a couple other like random things like brant was singing you know and yeah there's some all singers. that bull crap but it, also very stereotypical stuff before that audition i was in remedial math so i had to audition and then to or get to <laughs> by mrs eiley <laughs> oh god so anyway so i'm did the audition made it into the talent show blah 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 and they put up on the office what everyone's doing, and they saw that I'm clogging. 
the amount of shit I got yeah, that, that whole week. Everyone was making fun of me. Well, I think everyone, like, because it's, like, a sheltered, like, private school. So I think everyone's, like, uh, interpretation of clogging was, like, you know, like, the Irish, like, clogs. Like, yes. like really, like, <laughs> just stereotypical whatever. Literally, garbage. though, everyone, like, read me to filth that week. Like, I was made fun of so much. Everyone was, like, doing the little Irish jigs around me, and I was, like... No, I thought you Christian right. kids are going to be cool. I think but. me and Nathan were the only ones that have actually seen you dance, though, before that. Yeah. So, like, we knew... Well, you two were my only friends. Right. So. <laughs> so, I think we were the only ones that, like, knew that you actually could dance, like, really, really good. <laughs> so, it comes to the day of the talent show, and everyone is expecting me to go out there and dance to this, like, hokey-pokey little polka number, and it was, like, this electronic, like, 90s, like... Were you down to the folk yeah. you don't like? <laughs> Were you the last one to go on? I was second to last because Brant sang after me. <laughs> Poor Brant. Because <laughs> I, th I think Reagan went on like right before you. Reagan was like a few before me. Oh, okay. Because it was like one of the high school like senior bands. It was like they sang Coldplay and everyone was like, oh my, oh my ovaries. Right. You know, and was freaking out. Freaking? Freaking? But there were three judges and they were all like pastors of the church. And everyone was getting all these critiques and stuff like that. And then it was my turn. I danced. And everyone flipped their shit. They were like, what the uh, hell was that? Yeah. <laughs> this was amazing. You can dance like that? Oh, my God. Blah, blah, blah. You, you forgot the best part is Reagan did a cheer routine. Reagan did yeah. a cheer routine to, like, some, like, hallelujah song. It was, like, the stupid... I don't mean, want to be mean, but, I mean, it was a, it was a cheer routine. Like, she did some flips, mm -hmm. and then she's like, we are Lincoln. That's so what we like to call ourselves. ourselves. Yes. <laughs> so, it comes time to... Um, the top three, and uh, it was um, instead of like bringing us all on stage. No, they did bring us all on stage. They did. You all went on. Everyone stage. was on stage, and they were like, third place is the senior band that sang Coldplay." And everyone was just like, "Yeah, they should have won." Like instantly, everyone was saying they should have won. Second place was like some singer, I don't know. And then they did some, like, weird thing. Like, they played music, and, like, the lights were freaking out. They're like, and first place was. And they called my name. <laughs> I think me and Nathan were the only ones that were like, yeah! Everyone else was like, um... I think me and Nathan were, like, standing up, like, screaming and yelling. <laughs> and, like, everyone else is, like, in shock, like, like trying to, like, politely clap. No one knows who the hell I am. <laughs> I am some seventh grader who just kicked the ass out of every senior that was on stage. I won the money. And Reagan. <laughs> and Reagan. <laughs> and then literally, because this is summertime, or, like, close to summertime, so there's, like, two weeks of school left. I was made fun of so much. Everyone was like, you didn't deserve to win. <laughs> you did not deserve to win. No, I was sitting here like, girl, I did win. I don't, I, don't, like, I don't think they did a talent show after that either. <laughs> no, that was the last one. That was the last talent you show. You upstaged him so much, I'm like, we can't do that again. <laughs> so, uh, um, now I'm a professional dancer. <laughs> <laughs> now you're living the life. But it was so funny because everyone was like, you didn't deserve to win. You didn't deserve to win. And then started making fun of me. I was like, y'all suck. You Christian kids can go to hell. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was so good. I was so happy I won. Yeah, that was like really like my first introduction. Well, not my first introduction because we've known each other like maybe two or three months before then. Mm. But that was like my first time like seeing you like actually like on stage. Because I'd seen you like show me like videos of you like dancing and doing whatever. And yeah. <laughs> But that was, like, my first time, like, actually seeing it. So, like, I was, like, oh, my God. You and were like, still like, oh, Yeah, I was, like, God. He's, like, God. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've had to sit through helping me with auditions ever right. since. Right. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what I do. Yeah. That's that caring person I am. So that was my introduction to Lincoln Christian, and everyone has hated me ever since. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, not everyone, because we got to know, because uh, uh, you, you know me, you knew Nathan at that time, and then you're kind of friends with Stanton a little bit. No. No, okay, never mind. Uh, and then Brandon, which oh, is, is his own character. Yeah, because he was new as well in eighth grade. He just showed up, and we were like, oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you're also in the crew. Yeah. I think he was more, Brandon was more friends with Nathan, Nathan. I think. Yep. Um, and then, like, through proxy, he was friends with me and Chris. Yes, that makes, yes. But he was also a character, and there's so much Girl, to talk about scary. with Brandon. He was scary. There was... It's just, it's hard to talk about without getting into, like, other stuff that we're going to talk about in other episodes. But there was this one time where... <laughs> oh, God. I was going to say, uh, I don't know which one I should start with. I guess I should start with Brandon running for president. 
Because he was, was he like maybe... Ninth grade. That was ninth grade. So he'd been there a year at least. Uh-huh. And Brandon is this weird little short curly haired weirdo. He looked like an Oompa Loompa. He was really weird. Weird shaped head. Weird hair. Yeah, oh, j- just everything. Face. Yeah, just very eccentric. And I don't think anyone besides me, you, and Nathan like really talked to him at all. No. And he ran for... He he was on the football team. Yeah, that didn't and last. No one liked him. Right, and I don't think he did anything on the football team. He got kicked off. Yeah, I don't think that lasts. So no one really knew him. And then he runs for class president against like Reagan and Warren, like all these like popular people that like everybody knew. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think did Nathan help him with his poster? No, Brandon did it all on his own. Oh, he did it by himself. It looks so bad. It looks like he like no. used like one like little sharpie. Brandon did it all. Everyone by else himself. has like these like amazing like glitter art. Like there's like layers to it like they spent like days on it and brandon like does like uh, literally he got a poster board and wrote his name on it basically yes and then he gets up and does his he does his speech because everyone who's running for president has to do a speech and (laughs) i i don't remember do you remember like what the speech was because i don't really remember what the speech was okay so i just remember sitting there and it starts off with you know he wanted to be president because he wanted to make a change for our class specifically, he was like, he wanted to make class time shorter. Ah, things he, he could do. <laughs> he, he wanted to make lunches more like, I don't know, not healthy, but like he wanted more pizza and like burgers. He wanted <laughs> Not like, something like that's that. healthy. <laughs> and then he started talking about how our computers were so slow. They were slow. That if you kicked them, helium would come out. And then he did like a helium voice. He was like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, he did do a helium voice. It was so cringy. It was like the cringiest thing I've ever Literally, seen in person. No one was laughing. Everyone was just sitting like, and then you see the administration in the back. They're just like, mm. yeah, they're just shaking ev- their heads. Everyone, so pissed. everyone's looking at him like he's insane, like absolutely insane. And then because you had to applaud everyone when they were done, it was just like a, yeah, it's like. It was a slow clap that never got any faster. It was so <laughs> bad. His speech did not get better. It was basically just, you know, like, you know, when the stupid popular kids like, yeah, I'm going to make all the girls show their tits after a second. Right. Period. And like, it was, it was speeches like that. And it was like, God, this is not okay. Yeah. I don't think he got any votes besides like me, you and Nathan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. That's, that's being a good friend. Right. It's like voting, even though he's not going to win. And I remember that year they they um, announced all the winners on the PA system. And I was in class with Brandon. And I swear to you, that kid, when he lost, he threw the biggest fit. Oh. He was sitting like, I, think, I thought I was so popular. Oh, no. I think something snapped in him that day. Because since, like, that day, like, he'd, like, changed. He like, never shut up about it either. You know. And then he was like violent and like we he just like dark after that <laughs> we kind of had to remind him that like no one likes you because right. you act like a fucking idiot all right the time. and, and it, he literally went up there and said if you kicked a computer helium was <laughs> did you really think anyone was going to vote for you but it got to the point that like i think finally that he was just getting so annoying that like me you and nathan like all three were just like kind of like okay, we're going to, like, not hang out with you anymore, and we're going to do our own thing. I felt so bad, though, because I went over to his house a few times. Oh, I didn't. And I saw how, like, miserable he was. Yeah. (laughs) He lived in a giant mansion. His family was rich, and his dad worked all the time, and his mom stayed at home. And the family dynamic that Brandon had was just so Oh, sad. I can see that being messed up. It doesn't excuse him being a piece of shit, though. No, <laughs> but you could tell his dad was never in the picture. Oh, yeah, I get Because his mom was so sweet and gave him everything. And then he would come to school and act like an idiot. It's <laughs> just the biggest turn. His mom would be in the office bawling her eyes out like, I don't know what to do. You know, I saw her all the time in the office. Yeah, I never went to his house because of the incident. Because uh, there was there was one incident where like it like we stopped talking and being friends. Yeah, <laughs> it was I think was it tenth grade? When did he get kicked out? Was it ninth grade or tenth grade? Sophomore year. It was sophomore year. Yeah, I think it was maybe the end of. Where was the freshman year? 
I can't no, remember. Not where I think our, so it was our ninth grade homecoming. Um, so we all went to homecoming together and me, you, Nathan and Brandon were all hanging out together and I cannot for the life of me remember what we were talking about, but I remember like he was being annoying like usual. And I said something snarky cause that was when I started to realize I was a snarky asshole. And I was just like, yeah, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And he didn't like that at all. See, <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to get some punch. And he was still like seething about what I had like said off comment wise and like, followed me was like what'd you say to me what'd you say come back here what did you say it starts like slapping me in the back of the head like not like hard I like <laughs> yes and it, i thought well he was slapping you he was slapping. he was just pushing no you. he was slapping me in the back of the head oh okay um and it got to the point where like i was so done with it that like i very sharply turned around and like got in his face and was like if you touch me one more time I'm going to punch you in the nose. (laughs) And I turned back around and he slapped me in the back of the head again. So I just like instantly like turned around and just like went, oh, and just decked him in the nose. This is what I saw (laughs) because that was going on. I see your arm just go wham. I told you. Like propeller. It went around so fast. I I see Brandon. <laughs> well, he got, I think he got a nose blade. I thought I thought I broke his nose. That was so funny. And Nathan is bawling his eyes out loud <laughs> from the other side. Because I was over here, you were in the yeah, middle. Yeah, we were all separated with Miss Warren watching, and then Nathan was on the other side doing something. And then we all came together and we're like, what the hell was that? <laughs> I think my favorite part was Mrs. Warren saw it and like just turned around. My mom worked there. So like I'm friends with all the teachers. Yeah. All the teachers love me. So like they saw me hit someone. They're like, that was probably justified. So then she just like turned around. <laughs> yes. And I guess I don't know what happened if he left after that, but I don't remember seeing him the rest no, of the night. No, he went to the bathroom and cried. Probably. He deserved it. He was yeah. at me in the back of the head. And then I think he left. Like I told you in the last school stories, I finished my fights. So if you do something I'm gonna let you know I'm gonna do something back and yeah. then if you do it again I'm gonna I'm pretty sure he left because I did not see him he went to the bathroom to cry and then he left well then a couple months later you got expelled yes that was your fault you <laughs> literally pushed him over the edge I that think night. I did I think again I think I'm the catalyst for most of the things that go wrong in my life <laughs> Well, yes, that makes sense if it's going wrong in your oh, life. Oh, well, just in, like, in the life of the world in general. You were born. Are you the Antichrist? <laughs> I hope not. Like, <laughs> but, yeah, he was... I don't think he talked to me very much at all besides, like, you know, just small talk since then. And then... I don't. Oh, know. it was the same for me and Nathan. He didn't really hang out with us anymore after that. Yeah, that was a... Ca- I don't know. That was the catalyst for him, like, not talking to us at all anymore. And... I think it's because I hung out with you and Nathan. And he didn't want to like be around that. Um, and I don't even remember what he did to get expelled. I thought he had like a gun in his locker or something, or he like threatened to shoot the school so up or something. He, I forgot what happened. Him and like I'm, I'm gonna guess one of the football players got into a huge fight, and he threatened to either shoot that kid or mm. shoot up the school. But he had it in text form. So there were receipts. Oh, my God. What an idiot. And the kids <laughs> sent it to the principal, you know, all this stuff. And the next day, there is a huge security presence oh, at the yeah. school. And it's because they were um, chauffeuring Brandon from the front of, like, church property. Followed them all the way to the school in the, their car. Oh, my God. I didn't know because that. my dad was security at this point. I had no idea about that part. Followed him. Like, a big group of security followed him in, like, to look at his bag. They saw he had a knife in his locker. Oh, my God. So that was when they were like, you're done. It wasn't you're like expelled. just, it was like a hunting knife, right? But, no, it was a switch knife. Oh, well, whatever. But he got expelled from going to church as well. He could not go to church. Oh, I didn't know that. Him. So he was expelled from the school and the church. Because there was one day, his family came in, um... They weren't going to service. They just came in, I guess, because they knew I went to the 11 o'clock. He came to that service to say goodbye to me. Oh, my God. The security presence was huge, and they were watching him. Oh, my God. (laughs) He gave me a hug, said goodbye, and left. And security escorted them to their car and then escorted them off property. Jeez. It was... Yeah, I never got a big, you know, security-driven goodbye. Where was was my goodbye? My goodbye was him slapping me in the head. That was the goodbye I got. <laughs> Dude, that, it was just, it was insane. I got to, I got to see all of it. 
That's pretty crazy. About as crazy as you yeah. swirling your drink. I literally got to see like what a school shooting could have been. <laughs> you get to see the other How side of the window. <laughs> so you're gonna be experienced now if someone like starts to like shoot up a mall or something. Like, wait, let's talk about like, this. Like, like what see. happened tonight? Yeah, yeah right. Like yeah. literally at Woodland Hills. <laughs> Except for you were there. So, nope, I was at K1 eating Korean barbecue. So, so it was your fault, basically. Literally, yeah. I, I was that close. So we talked about Brandon. Um, I don't think we've really talked about Nathan at all, like in school wise. Would you like to be? Well, I guess I can start I by saying you me were... and him transferred at the same time. So me and him got close really quick because we were both like miserable because we didn't know anyone. And then he was obviously the cool kid almost immediately, only because he did sports. So he already had that little, like, gang of people. Mm -hmm. And then when I transferred, that's when we became friends. Right. But here's the kicker. <laughs> I didn't know how competitive he was and oh, how offended he God. got by everything. Nathan, like, in, in <laughs> school is almost a completely different person than he is now. Mm -hmm. It's so wild. No. Nathan, so wild. I love Nathan now. Oh, yeah, he's great now. Nathan in school was almost insufferable. Yeah. <laughs> I love, if you're watching this, Nathan, I love you, but God. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely some things that Nathan would do that he'd be like, what the heck? <laughs> well, because I remember my very first memory with him. <laughs> we were in PE class. We were all together. It was boys PE in seventh grade. And, um... <laughs> We were playing kickball because it was raining outside. <laughs> um, and Nathan was on the opposing team. I want to say you were on my team. Because Probably. this was after the basketball season, so all of us were together. Right. And <laughs> he ended up getting out, but he was the losing out. And we had oh. won. <laughs> Someone threw the ball at him and it hit him. And he, uh, Mr. Delaney, Coach Delaney, called out. You just hear Nathan. He was like bright red, and Coach Delaney was like, "You need to calm down. Oh yeah, this is PE. You do not need to act like this." And he is flipping out, hair going wild. Like, it was the most <laughs> insane. I was sitting there, I was like, "Where did this kid come from?" Wild this is man, scary. St yes. <laughs> and then, like that year was almost a blur because that was seventh grade. Like you said, the talent show happened, and we all became friends. The summer went by, we hung out a lot, and then yeah. eighth grade happened. And then, I kid you not, Nathan came out again. <laughs> we were taking pictures that Nathan. for eighth grade. Like dark Nathan, you mean? Like dark Nathan. Yeah. Reared his ugly head around the corner again, because him and <laughs> Cody, <laughs> they hated each other from the get-go. Oh, yeah, they and did not enjoy each other. It was school picture day for our photo IDs. It wasn't for anything. It was for our <laughs> photo right. IDs. I forgot about that. I thought it was, like, the actual class photos. It was just no. the ID photos. And we're all in line. And I guess Cody cut Nathan. And, <laughs> and Cody it, turns it, around, and Nathan punches him <laughs> in, in the, the face. face. In the face. And, <laughs> at, like, no one even knew what happened. It happened so fast. <laughs> But you hear Miss Sack in the background, Did you just hit him? Like, <laughs> screaming. And then everyone's like, Oh. And Nathan goes, oh, Not hard. That's so good. The not hard is my favorite. He had so much attitude on that. He was like, Not hard. That and everyone laughed for oh, like. So funny. That was the moment where I was like, I'm glad I'm his friend. That was so funny. It was so. Where where were you funny. in line? Were we next to each other in line? We were like almost behind him. I Because I think he, there was like a corner. Like, and he was like around the other corner. Yeah. So like we it got was to the like. Bible rooms. Right. So we got to like kind of see like the entire thing. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> after that. Mr. Abbott comes through, and everyone was afraid of Mr. Abbott because he was the one who would spank you when you were bad. Yeah, we got spankings. Corporal punishment <laughs> was still a thing uh, when us grandpas were in school. So both of them got taken to the office. We didn't see them for the next period. Like, they were in the office that whole third or it fourth period. It was a long period. time. <laughs> the bell rings. <laughs> Cody leaves, and he's like... He's not crying, but he's like, he looked like he cried a little bit. His <laughs> eyes are like puffy. I wish I'd seen, I don't think I saw that. I wish I would have seen Nathan it. Nathan was bawling his eyes out. <laughs> he was so upset. Tears were running down his eyes. <laughs> well, did he get like detention or something? 
He got, he got the tension and Cody got the spanking. <laughs> <laughs> so Cody got the worst punishment for cutting yes. in line. <laughs> it was so funny. Did you hit him? Not, Not hard. hard. <laughs> it was And he so had that like whiny funny. voice too. Yes. Not hard. <laughs> it was so funny. Funny, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Nathan. Yeah, because I remember Nathan, like, he did have, like, that bad attitude at times. Where, because yes. I remember, you know, I used to do, like, comics every once in a while in school when I was bored. And I remember, like, one of my characters I would do was Nathan. But he had, like, yes. he had, like, those hair powers. So, like, the it was. Fiery would, red hair. He just had, <laughs> I just had, like, a character that like, I just do, like, stick figures. And then, like, Nathan's character. Like, when he got mad, like, his face would just be... I would just fill in the face, and, like, hair would be, like, sprouting out all over the place and, like, picking people up and throwing them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I'm trying to think of other funny things he did. I do remember, like, um, there was another kickball incident where... I think it was the one where I got hit in the face, too. But we were playing kickball. I think this is like, maybe 10th grade or so. And or no, it was soccer. It was like or no, I think it was either soccer or kickball or something. It was something to the kicking a ball. I was it was soccer. I think it was soccer. And that's that Luke kid is the one who kept hitting you. <laughs> yes, Luke freaking was running with the ball, and I was going to block him. He just like I don't know how we kicked it, but he would kick it up every time, and he would always end up like kicking me in the stomach or like in the head. I think he kicked me in the side of the ear once, but there was. <laughs> There was one time, like, I was going, like, running up to him to get the ball, and he kicked it straight up into my face, and I, like, fell down. Like, Bro, I was sitting in the end zone because I did not feel like playing. <laughs> I watched that down. It hit your face so hard, and you just went... Oh. I was going to say, did I like, go back up, too? I, like, I went down back and back up. up. And he did it to you again the second time, and you just go, <laughs> boom. I sat there... Pissing my pants. It was <laughs> the funniest thing I've ever I, seen. I think I had to stop playing at that point. You were like a rag doll. <laughs> well, girl, it literally like it was like a cartoon where like I got hit so hard, you like you fall back and then you like you stand back up from the impact was so hard. Who was the coach? I have no idea. I think it was Delaney. I don't think it was Delaney. It was that the 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 driving teacher. I don't remember his name. Anyway, he was like, Cole, I think you need to sit down. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He like, literally grabbed your hand and was like, let's go sit down. <laughs> I think you should have made Luke sit out. <laughs> that was so funny, though. But I do remember in that game, too, like, Nathan was on my team and we lost. And he threw the biggest fit. Like, because I think he, he, like, kicked the ball and it, like, went out of the... <laughs> it went out of the football field. And he was like, no, that was a fast so I kicked it. <laughs> and he had the highest pitch voice, too. Oh, so yeah, you it knew. It was like a squeal every time. I was like Nathan, calm, calm down. down. <laughs> well, this kind of kind of goes into with um, track when we all did track mm. together. Um, Forgot about track. The one funny story I was just gonna tell was uh, my mom was picking me up from practice one day, and she goes, "I am so grossed out." And I was like, <laughs> "What happened?" <laughs> Points out Nathan. I was like, what? What happened? She was like, he picked his own, ate it. Oh god. Oh Nathan, I was like, no. Mom, that, that's my friend Nathan. She was like, well, you need to tell him to stop doing that because that's gross. Oh my god, that's I forgot so all about track. Funny. Track is almost its own separate entity. That it, can be its own thing, definitely, because there's so many horror stories. Coach McCorder hated us. Oh god. I think well, there's definitely enough weirdos we could do in like the weirdo episode. <laughs> but the one thing I do remember from track is like when we both tried out to, for pole vaulting because it was like the only thing we wanted to do and it was just like Austin and someone else that like they got... gave it to fucking Reagan St. Reagan it was it was Reagan and Austin that got to do it and then as soon as it was our turn it starts pouring down it was like sleeting we never even got to try no no we didn't get to try amazing oh yeah because he kept putting me in like the mile run oh yeah meters, this long <laughs> I was doing shit. I was doing sprints and I was like I'm like a 5'2 like scrawny kid these are like six foot five black men like that have gone through puberty like sprinting yes. like I should not be here <laughs> I, I was so mad because he would give us the lineup before every fucking track meet it'd be like mile relay one mile run two mile run yeah 400 meter I was sitting here like <laughs> you're joking you're making me run football fields I'm not running the mile you're making me do these sprints but at track meets, it's like he wanted me to lose. Right. <laughs> because we weren't invited to the state championship. We were, Or that whatever they were doing, that one track meet, oh, we weren't invited yes. to. Oh, yes. 
everyone else was. Well, because we sucked. Yes, because he kept putting us in the wrong events. Yeah, we wanted to be on the field. We wanted to be pole vaulting. I think we did do pole vaulting. And I, from what I remember, we were both pretty good. And But he wasn't watching when me and you did it. He watched Reagan and Austin do it. Yeah. But when he came back over to actually watch me and you do it, it started sleeting. So everyone ran the buses. And that was the only time anyone tried out for pole vaulting. There wasn't like a continuation of like, oh, let's see if anyone wants to, else wants to pole vault. It was, oh, no, that was the one time and that was it. No, I was so fucking pissed because I wanted to be on the field. I was good at the triple jump. I was good at long jump. And I wanted to do pole vault. Well, yeah, because you have long legs. Of course you're going to be Exactly. <laughs> And then he puts me in these long distance runs. And I was like, you are kidding. You're kidding. There was one day he put me in yeah. the hurdles and I told him no. I was like, I'm not. <laughs> You're not jumping those hurdles. Because there was one practice that Cole, you were being so mean to me because I would <laughs> get over the hurdle and turn around and celebrate myself. And then he goes, messes up. Falls on his face. He's like, this is your fault because you keep making faces at me. You did make faces at me. I was celebrating. <laughs> you would turn around and make the dumbest face. And I, but it was like, right. I would, I did like eight hurdles in a row, like perfectly. And then I was on the last two and you turn around and were like, <laughs> <laughs> just making like the widest grin at me. And I like, I saw it and just immediately started laughing and couldn't make it over the last two. Uh, I can't, I, uh, the hurdles were awful. They were awful. I never forgave Coach McCorder for that, ever. Like, that track was awful because he made it awful. Oh, yeah. I didn't, I would, wasn't enjoying it. Yeah. But there was a lot of teachers like that where, like, they just, they tried, but they just made things worse. <laughs> like Mrs. Wilson. <laughs> Mrs. Wilson just such ass period. She was too crazy. Sure, she was nice. She was really trying, though. Like, she wasn't, like, a bad teacher, like, in a way where, like, she purposely was, like, being a butthole like she was really trying but like it was too we much weren't first graders she thought we right were first graders. like i said like in the last episode when she taught elementary school it made sense to be zany and wacky and like super hyper but like when you're teaching 10th graders were we in 10th it was I either we were freshmen. it might have been ninth grade like it might have been ninth grade but it, but she acted the exact same as she did when she taught third graders mm -hmm. and it was weird and then there was the one thing where we did <laughs> what were we even reenacting? Was it Romeo and Juliet or was, Hamlet or we were? I want to say it was Romeo and Juliet because literally Taylor and Alyssa were doing a scene before she did her thing with me, and she was like, "And you grabbed Taylor's bosom, and <laughs> you just see Taylor go." She like grabbed her chest and was like, "What?" <laughs> because so because like, she Not that bosom. yeah because she wanted us to act it out. Mm -hmm. well, what what other bosom is someone grabbing? It wasn't. Um, Oh, yeah, it was like an outfit. Tale of Two Cities. It was Tale of Two Cities is what yes, it was. Yes, because something, I didn't read the book. Um, but anyway, so some it was like the revolution or something like that. And there, we got to this character that stepped on people to get to power. Like he was stepping on people to become more powerful, more popular. And she thought she needed to demonstrate how someone <laughs> gets stepped on. So she's wearing <laughs> high fucking heels. Like six inch heels. And she grabs my arm and she goes, this person literally stepped on people. She I mean, puts her foot on my waist and starts stepping <laughs> on me. I thought it was your shoulder. Was it your waist? No, she put her foot like right here. I sat there. I was like, I literally just got assaulted. Yeah. And in she, front of everyone. I mean, and she like threw her foot up there. Like I was kind of impressed with how high her foot got up there. Like she like threw it. Yeah, and she was in heels and it hurt. Yeah, I'm sure it did. I went and told my parents that night. I was like, my teacher literally just stepped on me. <laughs> she stepped on me today and my parents didn't believe me so they didn't do anything. But I sat there. I was like, Miss Wilson, you're going to pay for this because first of all, you embarrassed me in front of everyone but second of all, like you hurt me. Yeah. You put a high heel in my waist and put all your weight on me to <laughs> show the class how, you know, the constable stepped on people to get to power. Oh my god. Yeah, she was, she was crazy. Insane. She was pretty nuts. And anytime she was mad at you, like if you failed a class, she would have you wait after class to literally yes. tell you how stupid you were. Yes. I only had one of those talks. Were. She was like, I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. You are so much smarter than this, blah blah blah. And then she would hold up your work and be like, This is the work <laughs> of an idiot. And it's like, Miss Wilson. It's like you can't tell these children this. But she wasn't the only one that was weird. There was, uh, oh, what was the one guy's name? Uh, Coach, whatever, Whitley, Warren, not Warren. 
Worley. Worley, Coach Worley, because he was the one that would like hump his desk. Yes. What would it be? I don't even remember what class it was. It was like some science class. <laughs> it was chem- chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> because remember when I made that one up, the fertilium. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did make up an element. And he sat there being funny. <laughs> you did make up an element. Uh, I forgot you. he asked you what element. I didn't remember what you were just asking him. I'm not him. recording you, I promise. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were just asking him, what was this question? We had just taken a test, and I failed it. <laughs> like I normally did. Right. No, I did not try in school. <laughs> and he was like, all right, so what is this on the periodic table and I go Fertilium, <laughs> Fertilium. <laughs> He laughed. Cole laughed and asked me. Everyone's sitting here making fun of me. Yeah, but I was allowed to laugh. Yes you were. Yeah. <laughs> everyone was sitting there laughing at me and I got so red in the face I thought I was gonna start crying. And he was like, okay, let's do an easy one. And he, he pointed to a different one that was not easy. And I was like, Coach, really? I really just, I don't know. I don't know. I can't do this. <laughs> and, like, I felt like I was going to throw up. Like, <laughs> it was so bad. And all the while, he would be grinding on his desk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Girl, what he was sitting there humping his desk. <laughs> I don't know what it was with his position. But every time he would, like, do a lecture or talk or, like, give assignments... He would be leaning on his desk. He wouldn't be standing or, like, at the podium. He'd be leaning on his desk and just, like, swaying his hips. Like, it literally, like, seductively into the desk. Like, there was something attached, for sure. Girl, he had a flashlight? <laughs> I think so. <gasps> I always thought that him and Worley were, like, related. I was so confused. I was like, I went up to Sam one day. I was like, is that your dad? <laughs> and he goes, no. No. <laughs> God. <laughs> Yeah, he was definitely a, a weird character, but then there was there was also Mr. Hutchinson, which oh I, I which God. I which I think is more your because I don't think I had him except for like as a sub. I think you had him as a teacher. I had him as a tech teacher. I don't think I had him as In a like tech teacher. Eighth grade. I don't think he was my tech teacher. And it was. And I'm so sorry if you're listening to this. By any off chance, Mr. Hutchinson, if you're listening, I'm sorry. But you need to hear the truth. (laughs) So, we gave him the very unfortunate nickname, Mr. Tutchinson. Yeah. Because in the middle of class, especially if you were a boy, um, you would feel his hand just go, so... Just like graze. Whenever you do this, you hit the enter button, you know, and he's like caressing your nipple. And it's just (laughs) like, "Um, Mr. Tutchinson, do, do, do you know what you're touching right now? And then the girls, you know, he would give them, like, massages and stuff like that. And we, he was this old man. He was an old, sweet He was man. very sweet. He was harmless. But obviously, as, you know, an eighth grader, all of us like, he's touching the Right. Ah! Yeah, I don't think it was, it wasn't ever, like, seductive. It was just, no. like, he was just very, like, handsy. Yes. He was a harmless man. But, oh, my God. He would sit there and explain things and, like, sit there and, like, rub your chest. And it's just, like... What? Yeah, because I because I know I know people like that where it's like if they're like talking to you they have to like be touching. But it's weird when you're doing it to eighth graders. <laughs> yes, as an old man, right? Who kind of looks a little stereotypical. And he would always have his shirt button one too far. Yep, and you <laughs> saw all the chest you hairs saw and the little pinky out. Like. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he was he was something. He really was. I'm trying to remember anyone else that was crazy. Uh, Coach Robinson. Also a nut job. Insane. He was the U.S. history teacher and golf teacher. Mm. I was... I the was South African? Yes. Oh. Insane. He never even taught history. The shit he would talk about was like his home stories. <laughs> he never taught us. The only thing, if he ever did teach us, was just the 15 questions on his pop quizzes after the reading. Yeah. That's all he would teach us. Well, I remember, I don't, did you take the, uh, cause I took like his hard class Girl, or whatever. No. And like, he, he was like, he went up there. He's like, you take these notes. Like he taught it like a college class and we're like 10th or 11th graders. And we're like, like, we don't know. Like, no, we don't need to be doing this. Mm-hmm. He was like, oh, I'm getting prepared for when you go to college. Cause this is exactly what you're going to have to do. And it's not at all what a college person does at all. No, no, no. So I he was, he was strict and rude and mean <laughs> And he was my golf teacher or my golf coach. <laughs> yeah. And when I did golf, there was 
the golf team at Lincoln was maybe six or seven people. It was pretty small. And I started in ninth grade because I liked golf growing up. I've always enjoyed golf. I'm not great at golf. I can hit a ball. Yeah. I can get it in the hole, but I'm usually like hitting it like an average of like 90 or 100 at that time, which isn't awful. But, you know, we have like, a, professional. right. Well, we have like the it was I was the only ninth grader. And there was like 11th and 12th graders mm-hmm. and the 11th and 12th graders like hitting like 60s and 70s and 80s. And they were like, oh, my God, you guys are actually like really good at golf. <laughs> and so whenever they went to the golf tournaments, they would coach Robinson was like, you're not going. It's like, you can't go. I was like, why? It's like, not you suck. You suck. You're not good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, so I need you to go into the. Uh, the gym and do workouts with the football players when we're at golf tournaments. And I'm sitting there like a scrawny ass little ninth grader, like, hell no, I'm not doing their workouts. You know, do you know what the heck they're doing in there? Bench pressing, squat. Yes, but, but like football regimen. Like they're doing like full on, like they have their own like training and regimens that they're doing. Oh, yeah. And he just wanted me to go in there and just like, just do it. So I was like, hell no, I'm not remotely doing that at all. So anytime they went to a golf tournament, I would walk into the weight room, go into the locker room, and pull up my homework and do my homework in the locker room. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, that was a workout in itself. A and, brain workout. And I did that in ninth grade, and then I was doing it three-fourths of the way into tenth grade. And there was, in when I was in tenth grade, there was another ninth grader that joined the golf team, whose name, ironically, was also Brandon. Different person. Mm-hmm. And I told him because he was in the same situation where we both didn't go in the golf tournaments because we both weren't great at golf, uh, which I think is totally messed up. But so we were going to the weight room again to to work out. Um, and the first time it happened, I told him, like, I'm just going to go in the locker room and do my homework. That's what I do. That's what I did last year. I've done it every time. That's what I'm going to do. You can do whatever you want. So he would do it with me. Mm-hmm. And halfway through 10th grade year, finally, I guess whoever the football coach like finally like realized I wasn't working out in the weight room and the uh, Brandon wasn't in there either. So they started freaking out because they couldn't find us. Like they didn't know where we were at. And eventually like they saw us like in the locker room, like literally like sitting there like with our calculators doing math homework. (laughs) And I guess it was like a security problem. They had like called security like they couldn't find us. And I was like something like, what the hell are you doing? Like, this is such a nothing pro. Like, what is going on? <laughs> and I get into school the next day and Coach Robinson is standing by the entrance, like just beat red, like furious. And he's like, I need to talk to you. I was like, OK. And I would go to his class and he like shuts and locks the door. I'm like, OK. <laughs> and he's like, what were you doing yesterday? And I was like, oh, God, I, what do you, I don't. What do you mean? What was I doing yesterday? He's like. When you're supposed to be working out, I was like, I was in the weight room. I don't know. What do you mean? What was I doing? I was like, why weren't you working out? I was like, because I didn't want to. Oh, <laughs> it's like, what, what was you? What do you want me to say? It's like, I didn't want to work out. It's like, what are you going to make me work out? I don't want to. So I was like, no, I didn't want to work out. So I was going to do my homework in the locker room. And he was like, oh, well, I already talked to Brandon. He said you did that every year or he, <sighs> he did that every time last year. And I was and like me quick on my feet because I'm a manip- manipulative asshole. I was like, oh, no, that was a joke. I was telling him I, you know, I did it once last year and was fine. But this is the first time this year I've done it. And I was like, oh, OK, well, let's let you know this is a serious problem because uh, this is a security breach. This is something that like we like he like made this like big hoopla. But I was like, and I'm going to make sure I'm going to call your parents uh, and let them know about the situation. And I'm like, OK, whatever, dude, fuck off. Oh, my God. And then at golf practice that day, he kept accidentally calling me by my dad's name. I was so pissed off at him. Like, you're such an asshole. Like, you're such an asswipe. He like, kept calling you Blake? Yeah, he kept calling me Blake. Like, what do you know even Blake in his class? There's not even a Blake at that school. <laughs> so he kept, like, every once in a while, be like, oh, hey, Blake, how you doing? Like, good shot or whatever. And I was like, you know what the fuck you're doing. Uh, you know what you're doing. Petty, yeah. petty old man. But it's fine because he got fired because no one liked him, so... Well, listen, I remember him being, like, insane in our class, but I just remember the project at the end of the year, the one-hour presentation that you had to do with a group of four, and each one of you had to talk for so long. And that was the very first time I ever gave a presentation. 
Well, no. Patterson was first, but his was so bad because he gave me such bad anxiety he was watching. And Morgan... <laughs> I'm using her fucking last name because I don't like you. <laughs> but she was making paper origami the entire time I was trying to talk. Oh my god, I remember that. That was so rude. She was paper origami while I was trying to do my presentation. And I kept saying the word um because I was nervous. <laughs> they People were like... Oh my god, we love your voice. We've never heard you talk before. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Morgan goes, You didn't do very good because it was so hard to understand you. Because oh you kept my saying, god. Um, and I, I remember and this is where my attitude really started getting bad. I was like, I'm done being quiet. I was like, Well, you didn't really pay attention at all. You were making these little swans. <laughs> and then everyone was just like, <laughs> She was making those swans. And then when she got a college program, side story, when she got a college program, she was a freaking, like, maid over at the Grand Floridian. Thought she was hot shit. I was like, girl, you can go ahead and kill yourself. Because ain't nobody <laughs> special in the college program. Right. Especially if you're over at Grand Flo. Being a maid. Yeah, so kiss my ass. But anyway, yeah. There was, like, so I'm trying to think of other teacher stories that were crazy. Um, there was Coach Ricky in Anatomy. <laughs> you know where I'm going with this, right? Yeah. Where me and you, like, sat by ourselves in the corner of the whole year. Of course year. we did. The because, <laughs> because it was like, somehow we were in a class that was 100% filled with cheerleaders and football, football players, players. Um, which Coach Ricky taught. Yep. Um, and best friends with everyone. Oh, yeah. Knew everyone. Except for us, too. Knew everyone by name except for us. So, like, it was football players on one table, cheerleaders on another table, me and you on the other <laughs> table. <laughs> And we wouldn't even pay attention. We were screwing around all Girl, the time. Girl, I was drawing. I, was, I wasn't doing anything. We had that Bunsen burner thing or whatever it was, <gasps> and we would keep, like, turning yes. around each other to see who could bend each other's yes. wrists the front <laughs> before someone screamed or said, ow. <laughs> yeah. That was also the is someone's stomach growling moment, too. <laughs> the iconic. I did. I forgot. The iconic stomach growl. Two. <laughs> That's so stomach growling. <laughs> Drew, if you're listening, you're a real one. <laughs> what an idiot. Because <laughs> what were we? What, I don't even remember what that was. The two. I don't know how that got started. I. It was um. That's so Raven. You know how they were making that potion on Halloween. They started mooing. Oh yeah. I, I, it was like they start mooing in the middle of like a sentence. So that's why I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to. <laughs> we were so fucking. We're so stupid. stupid. <laughs> we. We did not take anything seriously that year, but especially not that class because it was a throwaway. Yeah. Literally, it was a throwaway. Oh, yeah. Complete throwaway. But the, the is something like stomach growling? Iconic moment. Forever <laughs> yes. ingrained in my head. <laughs> stomach stomach growling? <laughs> it was so good. He's such a fucking idiot. But there was also the moment in Coach Ricky's class. At the end of the year, we would do a dissection on a cat. Yeah. Was it just me and you, or was Sam also in our group? No, Sam. <laughs> These people didn't want Sam in their group, so they pushed him over to us. <laughs> this coach Ricky was like, you two look kind of lonely over there. You should have another person. We were like, no. no. <laughs> like, we're good. And he went ahead and did it anyway. So it was me, you, and Sam, and I don't know what was going on. Like, we had the cat sitting in front of us, and I had a knife in my hand. I was like. Scary. I was like. That's a scary picture. I know. I was like. I'm going to cut this cat's head off. Like a psychopath. But also... Like a psychopath. Before he did that, Coach Ricky was like, do not cut their heads off. No, no, no. I had already started. Yeah, as he was saying it. Yeah, well, I mean, what am I going to stop as I'm halfway through cutting the head off? So guess who, which group, <laughs> failed that project? <laughs> because everyone else has this, like, totally clean, like, pinned out, like, oh my god, everyone. They have, like, they have pins and everything, and... Yeah, and the then, skin's pulled back, and then our <laughs> like, freaking, the guy from Saw got onto him. It looked like... The head is, like... Pork. The head is in the corner. <laughs> like, the stomach is out, the intestines are everywhere. Yeah, girl, I remember, like, by the time he said, don't cut your head off or you fail, I literally was three-fourths of... Like, I was about to snap it off. So I was like, it's already off. It's already done. We've oh already my failed. God. And then Whirly, I don't know if that was a make or break for him. Because <laughs> he was sitting there freaking out. You and me were just like, <laughs> I was already pissed off that day because Mr. Bell made us cut open a fucking pig. So I was already just you like, you know, I feel sick to my open. stomach. I'm done. 
Like, <laughs> and then here's little old Cole sawing away at the cat head. Dude, it was the messiest morning of my life. <laughs> and then, of course, Code Turkey's like, don't cut off the heads or I'm going to have to fail you. I was already done. Like, it was already done. It's a joke. Like, it, was, it was already done. It was a fucking joke. It was too far, but I was too far gone. The head was already off. <laughs> like, it, <laughs> I don't know what, what we could have done. I was like, we could have stapled it, it back on. <laughs> we didn't have the stapler right there. I think the only reason why he said that was just, like, to be humane. But, oh. like... Yeah, but it's a dissection. You gotta know what's in there. Senior age boys with, like... Oh, we're cutting his heads off. <laughs> oh, God. I'm the trying pig to... was fucking gross, though. I thought I was gonna throw out that entire that time. That pig does Cole sound kind of gross. to cut it. Okay. That's another thing. We were together on the pig dissection. Yeah. Because I told but him I was... about... Well, that year. Because that was another throwaway class. I told Miss Sabelle, I was like, I need to do everything with Cole. My anxiety, I can't do it with other people. And she was like, oh, it's okay. Yeah. So we did everything together. Every single project we did together. And that was Miss Sabelle's fault. But yeah. but it worked out for us. That damn pig. Yeah. I'll never forget That was it. funny because the pig I took real seriously. And I was like, yeah, okay, we're going to do this. Gonna make I don't sure even I don't understand know. why. Oh, my God. The week before, we dissected that cow eye. Yeah, that's right. That one, that there was one didn't also, go well either. There was also the worm. And the frog. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. There's a lot of dissections. <laughs> I had never felt so sick to my stomach. That whole <laughs> month, we were just murdering and <laughs> sawing at these animals. Just going to town. Listen, I'm not a vegetarian. I don't give a crap about it. But oh my God. When there's, I saw it, there's these, something about sawing a cat's head off that really turns your... There was something that changed in me. I was like, <laughs> I have to put an animal person now because this is sad. Yeah, that was funny because I've always been an animal person. It's like, I love animals. Like, I'm always, I love and support animals. I'm petting them. Oh. And at the same time, when they're dead, I'm like, oh, I'm cutting the head off. So you were that one that would kill the animal behind the shed and like, fuck oh, it yeah. or something? <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, trying to think of any I'm other... going to go back to presentations, though, because oh, we have no. to talk about the one in Mrs. Patterson's class. A hundred percent. This one still makes me pee my pants when I laugh because it was the funniest, most embarrassing day of my life, I want to say it was junior year, and, and everyone was so worried about grades because every teacher at Lincoln, which if you are high school age, don't believe your teacher's junior year that you have to pick a college by no, senior year. No, you don't. Year. You don't. You don't have to pick a college senior year. You don't have to go to college. Yeah, y'all, or that too. But they were forcing it down our throats. You have to go. You have to go. You have to be perfect. That was also kind so, of a different age because I feel like now it's a lot more like, yeah, whatever. That is true, but because, you know, jobs are being a little bit more willing to let you be entry level. Yeah. So, grades were a huge deal, which at Lincoln, grades are already a huge deal. If you're not making straight A's, you know, get out. And so, all of us were worried about our grades, and this big presentation about fucking, like, it was, Macbeth. It was Macbeth, yeah. Happened. Because it was the skull. Because I, I was the ghost. And they let us pick our partners, and of course I was going to pick Cole. And we had to do a scene from Macbeth. And we picked this scene where, like, the ghost or whatever yeah, comes it and was like, scares Macbeth. Yeah, he was, like, talking to the ghost. Yeah, was, like, he how starts going insane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I love You went showing, insane. I loved showing Cole dance videos from So You Think You Dance. I was like, oh my gosh, look at this. It's so cool. There's this one, and I hope you all can find it. It's season four, and it's a group dance. I think it's the top 18 when Comfort slides through his legs and, like, has her thumb in her fucking mouth and is, like, <laughs> waddling she, around like a baby. She waddles around like a, <laughs> a crazy person, like a spider, and, like, has her thumb in her mouth, like, and her full upper body is, like, doing, like, a full <laughs> circle. And right before we go on, Cole, I, I turn around and Cole is doing it. <laughs> and these poor people are presenting, and I'm sitting here laughing quietly, Myself. <laughs> and he kept doing it and I was like okay cool we're not rehearse go on and I'm already flipping out well we rehearsed it and then I did like my exit and my exit like cause I was the ghost I had to disappear and I was just gonna like do a little like a do -do 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 -do, and like fall out of the floor <laughs> And I did it with the sheet, because I just brought, like, a white blanket. Yes. And I did it with a blanket on, and that made you laugh even more. This is just rehearsals. And I was sitting and laughing. And then you put the sheet back on it and did the wobble thing. <laughs> I forgot I did that, too. And you can even hear Miss Patterson go, boys, 
there are people. <laughs> I was sitting there, I was like, uh, like about to throw up. When I laugh too hard, I barf. And um, so she calls our name. It's our turn to go. And I'm already there shitting bricks because I can't calm down. I'm nervous because I can't perform in front of people. I nailed all of my lines. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we start performing and everything is going great. And then Cole pops up from behind the podium in his, like, bed my, sheet. Yeah, and I started bed laughing. Sheet. I couldn't do it. It had holes in it, too. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't finish it. Cole was doing his lines, and there were, like, lines of mine in between, and I was laughing so hard. <laughs> and then he did his exit. It was, like, this, like, worm day. So, like, whoa. <laughs> I literally did, like, the worm, but, like, to the floor. Yes. And I was laughing so hard, I was crying. And I think you still had like another I two had minutes left. A whole or something. fucking monologue left. <laughs> so I, I went back and sat down, and I was just like watching it. Miss Patterson literally stopped me and goes, Chris, are you okay? And I was like, I need to take a break. And I was like, no, I'm just nervous. Let me get through this. And then I got through it. I've never in my I life. failed that presentation. Cole gets a fucking A. <laughs> and I sat there with an F, and I was like, there's no. <laughs> Way you failed me after that. This at least give me a C or something. It was my fault. It was all my fault. I was so pissed off, but it was hilarious. <laughs> but we always got into trouble. This is Patterson's yeah. class because we yeah. sat next to each other all year. And I distinctly, I'll make this so fast. I distinctly remember a story. We were talking about like if we were driving in wheelchairs and there was a crash. Oh my god! <laughs> the pile up, a pile up, and of someone's wheelchair. arm was in a spile of a wheel, like going ah, like. And I snorted oh so loud it scared the oh shit God. out of Mr. Patterson. It was her father-in-law who was subbing for her because she was sick. He got so scared he jumped at his chair because oh I snorted God. so loud. I forgot about the wheelchair pile up. Dude, that was the funniest thing I have ever experienced because I was... I was just like, what? It oh, wasn't even funny. It's not the funniest. It was not a funny story at all, but it was just like you doing stupid crap is what made me laugh so hard. Oh, I did a lot of stupid crap. There, I have, oh my God, I have a whole list of stuff we still need to talk about. I think most of it is me being stupid. I mean. Tell me, girl. <laughs> girl, I mean, how can we pass up the, the iconic arm dance? <gasps> but you oh have to start God. from when you did it. First. I don't even remember when I did it first. It was when you showed me that video of that chick. She was doing like that weird, like, interpretive <gasps> whacking. Arm. She was whacking. She was whackaroo. That's she, what it was. <laughs> she was doing some weird whacking dance with her arms. Yeah, I was like, I can do it too. <laughs> and your arms were made of like jello. Yeah, my bones were not like fully grown by then. It was pretty insane. I would sit there and piss myself laughing so hard. But my favorite thing, you would go through the ele or not elementary, the middle school hallway. Oh and my scare god! The shit out of kids. Like, oh yeah, Whoa! I would just like, like get in their face. I would run down their hallway, like get in their face and do it, and then just like dart into like the computer lab, and they'd be like, "What the heck was but that?" But Cole became famous. These kids would talk about you in the middle of oh, class. Oh yeah, because I remember Mrs. Delaney and then Mrs. Meerholtz would come up to you and be like, "My kids were talking about you doing the arm dance." <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I sat there. Girl, I I'm told you, it was dead. iconic. I, even Miss Gare, when I did my senior pictures, she was like, will you do the arm dance for one of your pictures? I, I'll have to show it, like, on, I don't know, if Girl. Or on screen, but, like, <laughs> I do the arm dance in my senior pictures. Yeah, it was literally a staple of Lincoln Christian School. But then we would duck into the tech room, and Coach Trader would come in and be like, why don't y'all enjoy yeah. your break? Get out of here. I was like, like, oh, we, we are. are yeah. Oh, we're enjoying it. You didn't idiot. see what just happened. <laughs> yeah, there'd be sometimes because the bottom windows were frosted, so you couldn't tell because the lights were off. You would jump up and scare kids. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, it was so it's good. so funny. Do you think kids now still talk about it, Lincoln? I hope the, so. Like, there's like a myth going around. I like, hope that the legend of Cole Purry or yeah. the dance <laughs> still haunts those halls, like, during break or something. Like, if they go in the hallway, they go, right. <laughs> and then, like, they turn around, they just eat. <laughs> <laughs> like, one of the teachers, like, no, you want to make sure that you aren't late after the break is over, because if you do, there's, the will get you, you know, the, the arm dance man, he'll come down and grab you. The arm dance man. <laughs> <laughs> he'll come down and he'll whack you. Dude, that was so funny. Well, and then, even in high school, people would be like, 
do do the arm dance. Like, I know, arm everyone dance loved was it. was the staple of Lincoln Christian School. So good. No joke. That was maybe the- Everyone knew about That it. was maybe the only weird thing that like people actually enjoyed. There were so many other moments where people like were not cool with it. There was the time <laughs> where I uh, ate one of Chase, I don't even remember who it was. I ate like one of his old Chase's nasty taquitos. taquitos. What was his last name? Uh, I think. Yes. Yeah. Girl, tell your story. I ate one of his nasty taquitos at lunch because he was like, oh, I had extras and I, we needed to eat them today because they were going to go bad. I was like, oh, I'll take one. Um, <laughs> it wasn't good. It tasted oh, like no. fish. Maybe it wasn't fish taquitos. It was beef. It was not good. Was that a microwavable? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm trying to remember this because what, what grade was this? It was 10th or 11th grade. Okay. And then we went to the football game that night, and me, being an idiot, got Chick-fil-A, and I ate, like, a full, like, you know, 12-piece nugget meal, and then I ate a snow cone. A red snow cone. A red. Don't forget that. A red, red snow cone. <laughs> Everyone remember the color just red. Wait. <laughs> and an hour passes, and my stomach, from the combination of an old, rotten fish taquito Chick-fil-A in a snow cone. A red one. A red snow cone are bubbling in my stomach. <laughs> and me and Chris are talking like under the bleachers. And at one point I'm like, I think I'm going to throw up. Like, I remember that. You were like, I think I'm going to barf. I think I'm going to barf. <laughs> and instead of just like running into like the field. Well, well, I guess my thoughts were like, there's like a field behind the bleachers and a lot of the kids would play out there, and I didn't want to like run out there and just like throw up, and like a kid like run by and like trip in it or like put their hands all over it. Oh god! And I didn't think, to, and I didn't want to embarrass myself and run into like one of the mini trash cans and throw up in a trash can. I was gonna try and make it across the field to the bathroom. And that's right. But we're at the beginning of the stadiums, which it would have been better for you to go the opposite direction. The bathrooms that were closer because those were like a mile yeah, away. Yeah, they were far. And you weren't even running. You're just like, oh. Well, I felt like if I was going to, uh. if I, yeah, I wasn't running at full speed because I was like, if I run any faster, I'm going to throw up. Because me and Nathan were sitting there like, he's not going to do it. He's not going to borrow it. <laughs> he, he's just being dramatic. Oh, and I you're did. Just jogging. And then I'll let you tell the story. Oh, well, yeah, because I, was, I wasn't I was going at, like, full sprint. I'll tell you my perspective. Because I was like, if I, if I run any more than this, I might throw up, like, right now. So I'm, like, jogging at, like, a brisk pace for a while. And I get almost, almost to the bathrooms. So close. Maybe another, like, 100 feet to the bathrooms. And I'm at the end of this, like, field where all these kids are playing. And there's a group of, like, high school. or No, it was middle school cheerleaders. Yeah. It was middle school Lincoln cheerleaders, like five of them, standing in a semicircle, and I'm doing this brisk jog, and, and I'm like, <laughs> "It's happening! I'm gonna throw up right now!" And I, it's just just projectile. I'm just like, I lunge forward, and I like enter the semicircle of cheerleaders, and just throw up right in the middle of them, and they start screaming. I was like, I've never and seen kids like squirm <laughs> and run away so fast. They thought they saw just, a demon. <laughs> Puking up red. It's not any. It's red, not. Girl. It's not chunky. It's just red. It looks like I'm throwing up blood. <laughs> yes, that's why they were so freaked out. So I mean, they're just sitting there minding their own business. Like, so Tiffany, like, do you want to come over tonight? My mom says you can sleep over. Whoa! <laughs> just this man comes out of nowhere and just like barfs up blood in front of them. Oh but my god! But then you god. did make it to the bathroom to at least barf one more time. Yeah, I I did like a pre barf in front of these cheerleaders, and then I like kind of like. The real Clean. deal was in the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the re yeah, it came up my nose in the bathroom. Like it was I, bad. So here's what I remember, and it was amazing because it was me, Nathan, Tim, and someone else. And you were like, "Chris, I'm gonna barf. I gotta go." <laughs> and Nathan was like, "Where's Cole going?" And I was like, "Oh, he's gonna go barf." <laughs> and we, I thought you were kidding. No. And Nathan was like, "Oh, what an idiot." So we're watching you jog, <laughs> and we thought you were just gonna do something stupid because we did see the little pile of girls. And then all, of sudden, all of a sudden, you're jogging, and we just, like, <laughs> like, like, you did, like, this weird dance move, and we were like, what just happened? You did a but scene then after <laughs> these girls were like, oh, 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 like, flipping out, running towards the goalpost. <laughs> they were One running so far. started crying, running towards their mom. That was so bad. And then it was so bad. We, we were like, 
what just happened? <laughs> and then we go over there, this giant pile of barf. And we were like, just no ran. way. Just ran. Cole actually threw up. <laughs> so these fucking cheerleaders. So me and Nathan are cracking up, and we're like, okay, we're hungry. We need to go get something to eat. You were in the bathroom. We got in line. You joined us in line. You were <laughs> I was done. I was like he ready was to go. Spitting out leftover taquito oh, and spitting oh, it or like getting it out of his nose. I forgot I did that. That was so gross. And you were spitting, and the people behind us. We're just like looking at us, and I was oh, like, that's "So gross!" I forgot I did that. I was trying to imagine, but they were thinking oh, because God. it wasn't anything like bad. Like you weren't like so far. No, I was just spitting. That's so gross. I forgot I did that. Yes, oh. and then you got your drink, and then you left. You were like, "I'm gonna go find my mom. I gotta go." Yeah, <laughs> and you left, and me and Nathan, you know, we watched the rest of the game. But I just remember the girls. Oh, oh, oh yeah, they oh, ran like doing their own version of the arm dance, <laughs> running around. But I can only imagine because randomly just a bunch of red barf coming out of some like random ass dude. Like, <laughs> I, if you were this age and you did that wearing like all black. Oh my god! Could you imagine? Oh my god, girl, I might get arrested. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god! So that was one weird thing that people didn't like. That was the most amazing thing ever. Oh yeah, it was so funny. There was also another one that I did <laughs> on the daily. That I know you specifically were infuriated by. And I don't know if you know where I'm going with this. It's that lunchtime, isn't it? It's about lunch. You piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I It's about this. lunch. And I sat next to you every day. And every day that I didn't have the school lunch, I brought my own lunch. My mom would pack me an orange. And for whatever reason, in high school, I was weird about textures. And I did not like the... Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Like the brine of the orange. Like the... Uh, the white part? Yeah. I don't even know what like to call it. Like the outside part. No, no, no. Not well, the peel. No, no, no. Not the peel, but like, like... the white stringy parts. That and like the actual like outline that held the orange pieces together. I don't even know what I'm... What it's called. Girl, do you have a touch of the tism? I don't know. Okay. But <laughs> I... So I, I... Whenever I would eat an orange, I couldn't swallow it. Like I would gag trying to swallow it. So I would chew the orange, suck all the juices out of it, and then spit the orange out onto my plate and just have, like, orange carcass on my plate. <laughs> See, he's making it sound clean and It was amazing. not. You just have to imagine a four-month-old fucking baby <laughs> trying to keep all the juice of the orange in their mouth and they can't do I it. I couldn't do it. I was gleeking orange all over because your food. Also, he thought it was funny at the same time, so he'd be getting it all over his own food, spitting juice everywhere. It, all over the place. I and do remember was one day you got your mashed potatoes. <laughs> I thought it was yours. And I walked and left. I was like, <laughs> I'm not sitting with you anymore. I thought it was your mashed potatoes. No, it was yours. It was mine. Because you had to get a school lunch that day. Yes. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I had an orange. But, well, that was just, like, one of the sides we had. Oh, yeah, and yeah, it had to have been, like, a chicken fried steak day. Because there was mashed potatoes. You kept laughing. And you kept spitting <laughs> I kept spitting the orange everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, it was all Because you wouldn't over. eat the goddamn potatoes either. <laughs> there was something about texture in that as well. Well, yeah, because so, there was orange juice in it. You wouldn't eat it before then. And that's why you kept oh. spitting in it. But I just remember, I sat there, I was like, Nathan, I'm leaving. I'm going to that <laughs> table where there's no one sitting there, and I left. I think that was the last time I had an orange, too. Yeah, I was, because <laughs> no one, none of us you, would you, let you. You gave me an ultimatum. <laughs> none of us would let you sit with us until you stopped. You were disgusting. <laughs> but you'll you'll be happy to know that I eat oranges like a normal person now. You grew up. I did. Is the tism gone? I think so. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. I'm sorry. Um, so that was the orange incident, and I have two more to end it out. I love this. Do it. Do some more. I have, I actually have four, but I don't know if we have enough time for four. Let's do two. I like that. Because um, we also want to play Mario Honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> so I have, this one isn't like a, like a weird thing that people didn't like. This is something that like, I, I just did that I didn't like. This was when I almost died of hypothermia. Okay, I don't remember this. You don't have to tell me. This one I don't remember. This was senior year. I think. It was either junior or senior. I'm pretty sure it was senior year. Because I was 
I had forgone sports. I did not like sports anymore. So I was part of the film team. So I would go out and film all of the sports. I would participate by filming the sports. And eventually during tra uh, track season, they went to state and their state tournament was somewhere in Can okay, it was somewhere in Kansas. Canada. Canada. <laughs> it was somewhere in Kansas. I don't remember what city in Kansas it was. I think it was maybe Coffeeville or something. But that night, it was 20 degrees, and... Oh, God, you were out there in a t-shirt. I Yeah. Well, in Oklahoma, it was a nice, brisk 65, so I was wearing my uniform shorts and my uniform polo. And that was it. Oh, God. And you were tiny back then. Yeah. Well, this is senior year. Not so that you're that. big now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that came out so insensitive. You're an ugly, fat piece of shit now. <laughs> <laughs> I had two drinks. Okay. I'm confused. I grew into my, my form. Yes. yes. You're sexy now. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Um, so I didn't expect to be... You know, going somewhere where it's 20 degrees. So I'm in a shirt in a uh, shorts. And oh it also was delayed to begin with. So we got there at like three or four in the afternoon and it didn't start until like six or seven at night. I was so fucking pissed for so, running. So, so they had stadium lights on. People were running, you know, in 20 degree weather at like seven, eight, nine o'clock at night. I think it went until like 11 or 12 mm -hmm. and it started to get really windy, really windy, really bad. And I was it was me and I think, can't remember who else went with me, but the, we always had two filmers and yeah. someone wanted to or one of the coaches asked the other person to stay down on the field because they had a specific camera so they could film from the bottom and they're like we go all the way to the top of oh the stadium God. and film from the top so i mean this was at like at five o'clock in the evening so i didn't expect it to be freezing by that time so when 11 o'clock rolls around and i'm at the top of the stadium and this isn't like a normal like high school stadium this is like they have the stadium and then they have like the second like row of seats and then they have like the third row of seats. Like this a is a stadium. huge stadium. I'm at the very top of the third row. So you're up like I'm, a five story I'm, building. Yes. <laughs> I am so high up in the air and it's 20 degrees and it's windy. And you're the only one. Up and there. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and I'm the only one up there. And I am freezing. I eventually had to text someone like I, I am freezing. Can someone please bring me a blanket? And they're like, oh, yeah, we'll bring you a blanket or something. And I'm sitting there like huddled. <laughs> I'm huddled, like st trying to get this film done. And I like I can't feel my toes. You're purple. <laughs> uh, well, my I can't feel my toes or my feet. And I, my legs are I, my whole body is shaking like snot just all over the place. Like I'm crying, but it's like freezing. <laughs> they froze to your face. It, literally, like it got to the point where I couldn't feel my feet. Like my feet just totally numb. And eventually, like. 20 minutes before it, the meet ended, someone finally brought me a blanket. But I, So I was like, oh, thanks. Thanks for bringing me a blanket three hours afterwards when I really needed it. Oh, my God. And I got home that night, and my feet were, like, blue. Yeah, and they probably hurt like hell, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I hate that. I sat, like, in the bathtub and just, like, had hot water. Did you cry? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I was crying. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was tears. <laughs> but, like, that was, like, I think the closest I've ever been to, like, freezing. Almost dying. Yes. That like, would have killed you. I was so cold. Like, when people, like, go outside now and it's like, oh, my God, it's so cold outside. Like, I'm so cold. You're I like, hate winter. I'm I like, remember. I'm like, bitch. I almost froze to death, so this is fine. Filming a freaking track. Movie. Right. So I, I love the winter. Winter's great. I hate winter. Girl, that's why I moved to Florida. I want to go down there again. Barf. But I think it's because I'm so, like, battle-worn now. It's like, I know what it's like to almost freeze to death. <laughs> this is nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, but I think we have to end it on maybe the best high school story there is that we had. Let's have it. I mean, some could say it's a whole new world. And this is something that I got to experience, and it's one of the funniest things, because we both have different stories about it. There's, we have there's different, different experiences. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so should we just like, go through it completely? I'll, I'll do it until I leave the classroom, and then we'll like... 
we'll get your perspective yeah. and then you can hear mine because yes. you still disagree with mine. <laughs> I, I yes, I do, but I s- still can see why yours probably is valid because. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, going into math class our senior year. Me and Chris are the first two to get into the classroom. Every day. Every day. We're the first ones to get into the classroom. And for whatever reason, this time, I don't remember. We were talking about music or Disney or something. I don't remember what was going on. (laughs) But I just remember I had this thought in my head. There was like, I'm going to jump on this desk and start singing It's a Whole New World from Aladdin. (laughs) And most of the desks were flat. Yes. And they had the four legs. Yes. The there were two desks on the far side where we sat that were slanted and they didn't have legs on the front. <laughs> and I jumped on one of the only two desks that were slanted. So I jump up on the desk and go, it's a whole new world. And then immediately <laughs> the desk like buckles because it's slanted. So like I lose my balance and fall off the desk, knock like four desks over. And I think, think I landed on my arm because I remember landing on my arm <laughs> and my arm like shooting pain down my arm and <laughs> I immediately get up because I am so embarrassed that I just knocked four desks over and <laughs> fell off and hurt my arm so I'm like Chris help me get the desk back I gotta I don't want people to see this so like we pick up all the desk and Chris is dying laughing and like <laughs> Class finally starts, like people start coming in, like I'm holding my arm because it's in <laughs> shooting pain. And, you know, five, ten minutes go by and you know, the teacher hasn't come up to the front of the class to start teaching yet. And I'm sitting there like, I I don't think I'm OK. Like my arm hurts. I think I might have like really hurt my arm. So I think I told you it was like. I think I go to the, I gotta go to the nurse. Like I yes. can't, I can't take this pain anymore. Like it was maybe the worst pain I've ever felt. Like my arm hurt so bad. Is after freezing to death. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a different kind of pain. <laughs> this was like I felt like it felt like I broke my arm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was going numb. I couldn't feel it. And then I finally go up to the teacher's. Like, can I go to the nurse? I don't feel very good. And he's like, Oh yeah, here's your here's your thing to here hall pass. And then I remember I. Chris is in the far side. There's maybe five or six rows to the door. Mm-hmm. I walk past Chris. I walk past the next row. And then I walk past... Who was it? Caitlin. I, I walked past Caitlin. And that's all I remember is I walked past Caitlin. And then I woke up by the door and my eye was wet. <laughs> and I, my, eye was, my eye was stinging. I was like, I don't know why my eye stinks. But I was like, oh, I must have fainted. So like, I sit up and I was like, I'm okay. And like tried to get up and everyone was like, no, 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 no. Yep. <laughs> and then I, I think, uh, Austin and Chase might have tried to help me like to the nurse's office. But, but when they tried to pick me up, I think I fainted again. So, cause I remember waking up again, halfway in the hallway with them going, dude, are you okay? Dude, stay with us. You got to oh, get, get, get walk. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. <laughs> and they're just like freaking out. Yeah. And, eventually like I like my vision is like just so tunnel vision. Like I can barely see it. It's just like all dark. And I like look up barely and I see like the nurse like rolling, like <laughs> sprinting <laughs> down like a wheelchair yes. after me. Like I sit in a wheelchair and like he finally gets me in the nurse's office and I like pass out for like a couple minutes and eventually I go home, but I don't remember what your scenario. I don't know what your, Oh my God. I experienced a very funny version of this. Okay. So we were just at Miss DeBell's class. We both carried our math books in with us, so we were always the first in class. And I just remember, I sat down, and I hear Chris move. And I was like, okay. And he gets up on the desk, and I was like, girl, you crazy. And you started performing for me. You're like, it's a whole new world. You get to world. The you desk. know what it is? I remember is because I stepped on your desk, and your desk was flat. And I, I went, sat in the front. And I went to step on the next desk, and that desk was slanted. Well, no, I was I sat in the front, so it was the desk behind me that buckled on you. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because it was like normal, normal, Slated. messed up, and <laughs> just everything went screwy yeah. after that. But you were like, "It's a whole new," but you were stomping on the desk <laughs> and performing. It was a whole, arms. it was a whole high school musical performance, and you stepped on that one and you fell. But he 
fell like arm first, but his head hit the floor. But I don't his remember arm that. did this like weird like twist thing. <laughs> it looked like he broke his arm. <laughs> it it felt started. like it. So funny, but I had never seen Cole get up so fast. It was like, Chris, we gotta we gotta clean up the room. We gotta clean up the room. Chris like hurry. I was sitting there laughing and Cole got so mad it was like, hurry up a bit. <laughs> I'm like one arm like trying to pick up yes, his desk. You did everything because I was sitting there pissing my pants, laughing so hard <laughs> on the ground. And I just remember the last thing you said to me was like, "Don't you dare laugh!" And I was like, "Okay." So class, I think gets I, started. I think I told you don't say anything to anybody. I think that's what I told yes. you. Yes. And class starts. I'm sitting here cracking up. I could not calm down. Coach is sitting at the table. You and then I turn around because you were like Chris, and I was like, "What?" And you go, "I don't feel good. I, I gotta go." <laughs> like, but he said it so under his breath. I thought I was gonna throw up. So I was like, "Okay." And, you know, I asked him if he needed. No, help, that he was, I was. Like, I no. was losing consciousness. Is what was going on. <laughs> yeah, just, I gotta go. And he asked Coach McCorder, and he leaves. He starts walking, and he's wobbling. He's like, he's wobbling like this. <laughs> He had to start passing out at that time because you grabbed Caitlyn's hair and pulled it. <laughs> like, trying to get to her chair more than likely. I don't think you pulled it. I think, I think it was just subconsciously I was trying to catch myself. And you because I don't it. even remember, like, stumbling. I just remember, like, walking past her and then waking up with water on my yes. head. Yes. <laughs> I was watching you the whole time. You pull her hair and she goes, ugh. You, know? and <laughs> you just kept going. And everyone was like, really weirded out I'm sitting here cracking up <laughs> and then finally you passed out and then you hear the uh, hand stand <laughs> <laughs> it then, landed right in my eye Chase goes coach Cole passed out like so concerned I'm sitting here <laughs> laughing so hard at that point I was in tears <laughs> laughing Tim sat behind me or like the one behind you and he was like Chris what is wrong with you like that is not okay <laughs> I'm sitting here pissing my pants laughing. No one else laughing. knew. No one else. And as you left, because Chase took you to the nurse, everyone looks at me because I'm sort of like, you know, like laughing. So obviously I knew everyone something. Everyone thought you were an asshole. Everyone was sitting there laughing. And then, like, it's almost that entire class was in anatomy the next hour. And everyone was oh like, my God. dude, was Cole okay? Like, you just sat there and laughed the whole time. <laughs> I was like... Uh, I think he's okay. It was just funny to watch. You know, I was just trying to play it off because I knew everything. You knew the whole story. They just saw, like, we were sitting in class. Their whole, like, perspective was just me and you sitting there. And then I got it up. They probably didn't even know what I said to Coach McCorder. Yeah. And then I just passed out. And then you start laughing like a maniac. Because <laughs> it was a loud laugh. Like, I was bawling my eyes out. It was so funny. Because like, everyone was sitting there like, yeah, because I just remember, like, waking up and, like, immediately, like, sitting up. And it was like, I'm okay. And then, like, my eye was just drenched because of the freaking... And probably in pain. Yeah, because the freaking hand sanitizer, when the hand sanitizer went off, it went right in my eye. Per I landed perfectly. You were saying Cody's accident prone? This whole girl, situation. Girl, I've never been in a more perfect accident where I pulled someone's hair, knocked over, like, four desks, and then had hand sanitizer go directly into my eyeball. It was so... So funny. And then you told your mom that you know oh. didn't feel good. He didn't tell her the whole story. I was so, so you embarrassed. Have blood work done. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. I could not like tell anybody. Like I remember directly telling you, like, you can't tell anybody what yeah. happened. And when my mom came to pick me up, she's like, What happened? I was like, I, I just fainted. I I don't know, I just fainted. It's like you're diabetic. All right, well, and I don't know if you knew at this point, but I was definitely afraid of blood like i pass out yeah i pass out when i get blood drawn or yes. when i see blood or like anything that involves blood i'll pass out in general just because i have the vasovagal syncope or whatever disease it's called or whatever yeah. um so my mom was like okay well we're taking you to the doctor and i was like okay and she's like the doctor's like oh let's do blood work and i was like no 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 we're not doing that <laughs> And my mom's like, well, they've got to figure out what's wrong with you. And I was like, no, no, I, I know what's wrong with me. And she's like, I know what happened. Yeah. She's she like, what do you mean you know what's wrong with you? It's like, if I tell you, can we, we not do the blood work? She's like, Whoa. and she like, just kind of stared at me. I was like, and I told her, I was like, I got up at a desk and tried to sing It's a Whole New World and fell down and hurt my arm and I almost passed out and I passed out. <laughs> and she's like, she was like so upset that like she probably wasted like two, three hundred bucks. She was like, put that needle in his Oh, arm. yeah. Well, at this point, like we're already in the doctor's office, like money has been wasted. So she's like, you're getting the blood draw. 
<laughs> they're, they're drawing your blood. This is punishment. Yeah, that was my punishment, was getting the blood draw and then passing out from the blood draw. Well, because I had my phone in my locker that day, and I just remember you texting me, ah, oh, Passed out twice that day. Yeah, I did. When I got my blood drunk, because when did you go to the hospital the next day or something like that? Or did you go It back? was that day. Because I just remember you texting me like, I passed out of the hospital. They took so much blood. And I was like, oh, oh my God. It was like, that That wasn't even like a, a needed blood draw. That was just a punishment for my mom. But at least, you know, they got to see. Oh, yeah, they knew. I mean, I knew. Was wrong. Well, there obviously there was nothing wrong. Mentally, though. Well, I don't think you can get that from a blood draw. that story lives on forever. It was so funny. And me and Cole are the only ones I know, other than your mom and all of you. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody. Like, that was so funny. And we kept it secret for so long. Oh, yeah. And everyone, literally, until the end of the year, was so concerned that Cole was sick. That's something. Oh, yeah, they cold. thought, well, because we had one, oh, uh, we had one guy in our class who had Crohn's disease. So he was, like, always out of class and, oh, like. Oh, that's your tummy. I know, but he always was they out of. had Crohn's, too? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's right, because he was missing most of the year yes. and then it just showed up right. at the end. So we, we had one kid that was always out of class because he had Crohn's disease <sighs> and he was never there. So I think everyone just thought, it was like, oh, my God, did it spread? Like, did it get cold? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But no, I was just an idiot and I hurt that, myself. That was so funny. I wish someone could have experienced that with me because I did feel bad though because everyone like that came up to me like the next day or two was like, oh, we were so sorry. I was like, we felt bad. Chris was like laughing the whole time though. And I was like, oh, I had, you know, we, we <laughs> I had to like make up some excuse though. It was like, oh, we had just talked about something previously and like it, it was totally <laughs> fine. Like it. Oh my god. And they're See, like, oh, okay. If there's one thing y'all need to know about me and Cole, we don't give a shit about anybody or what people think about us. No, so. but I, but I wanted to like, I didn't want to like tarnish your reputation, like that you're I some ash. I know, but like, I didn't want to like sink it any further. Yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. So bad. No one trusted me after that. No. If you pass out in front of Chris, he's going to laugh at you. Just know that. Literally. That was, it was too good. Oh my God. That was the best memory of high school. So those are our general high school stories. We got through all of elementary school, middle school, and high school, but there's still so much more. We got musicals. We got summer camps. There's so much more. And there's so much more other stuff too to talk about. I mean, that we talked literally for like an hour and a half just about I told you high school was going to be a long one. It's going to be. Yeah. So enjoy that. I don't know what that was. If you make it to this <laughs> point, we're proud of you. Yeah, <laughs> you did good. Like, hopefully, tune in for the next one where we talk about our childhood trauma. Ooh, I don't want to talk about that. That was a. That's gonna be a big one. Cole might cry. I might. And I'm ready. Well, I've already cried this episode. <laughs> well, a different cry. for different cries. <laughs> different cries for different pies. Go kill yourself. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. We'll I'm gonna, do something. I'm gonna end the fun. episode. Just remember, it's not always a whole new world. Sometimes your world comes crashing down around you. Uh, ah, yes. <laughs> I will never forget that day. I will never forget it.